Vermintide is the first video game that takes place during the end times, an apocalyptic event in the Warhammer universe. We want you to feel like a hero, but we want you to understand that these are desperate times, and even heroes are going to have a hard time surviving. What you'll quickly learn is that this isn't a time about saving the world, it's one about just seeing if you can survive the next couple of days. We decided to create enemies that you can't really take care of yourself, so you need your friend to be there with you by your side. If you're trying to like solo the levels or not cooperate in with your friends, you will not survive. Every single design decision that's gone into making Vermintide has been balanced against the cooperative aspect. We want to make sure we're only rewarding cooperative play and punishing any style of play that isn't cooperative. We felt that it was really important that you could drop in and drop out of the game at any time so you don't feel the pressure while you're jumping into the game. Allowing players to join sessions in progress or allowing bots to take over for missing players. This means you can play the game alone with bots if you prefer, but we always recommend playing with friends as that's where the game is really the most fun. It's such a, a privilege to be working with such a well-developed and rich lore and all of these, these races and all these characters and weapons and there's so much to take from. My favorite hero is the Bright Wizard. She's a crazy old lady obsessed with fire magic. Take the Skaven as an example. If we have an idea for an enemy type that we want to do, there's always that like there's this there is this archetype already in the armies and it's it's been such a privilege to have all of that deep wealth to take from well the skaven are really like sneaky menacing conniving ratmen that live underneath the whole planet they've been really fun to work with since they have this sort of backstabbing mentality and also they're a really like cowardly race if you come up onto a lone skaven we've had we have the system that they will actually try to like move away and cower away it's really important for us to have, make sure that we portray them as human beings and not just some monster race. In order to build a co-op game where you would never truly feel safe, we've built systems allowing the Skaven to traverse the levels in ways that even the human players can't do. We, we looked into the Skaven lore, we find, found this, these pack masters that control uh, the rat ogres. So we thought, let's take this guy, switch him around a little bit. He's really sneaky and always like running around in the background. Featuring a long grabbing claw. He'll grab onto one of the players and pull them away from his companions. And if you don't save that character in time, he will actually lift him up and hang him. If you are grabbed by a packmaster, you are completely helpless. On the other side of the spectrum, we have the Rattling Gunner. And what is more iconic for the Skaven army than the Rattling Gunner? And what he does, he selects one of the players, starts shooting relentlessly at him. And if that player does not get in cover as soon as he can, he's done for. He doesn't care about if there's a friend or foe in, the, in between him and his target, he would just keep shooting. So you can actually use the rattling gunner to kill off other skavens. What's fun about a game that's so dynamic and changes so much between the levels you play is that you'll get some really crazy situations. In Vermintide, we have an incredibly detailed hit detection system that allows us to detect where on the body you're hitting the enemies. This lets us do crazy decapitations, like taking off heads, various limbs. We can even chop off the, the tails, actually, of the, of the Skaven, which is something that is really cool. Vermintide is a visceral game. When you're using a two-handed sword, you expect certain results. This goes for every weapon in the game. Whether you're using fire magic or a ranged weapon, we want enemies to die in the appropriate way. You can actually kill the pigs in Vermintide. In Vermintide, what you see is what you get. If you hit an enemy with an axe, you'll be chopping it apart and hitting it with a big hammer or send a ragdoll flying away into the distance. We really want every weapon to feel appropriate, and whatever reaction you're getting out of that weapon should feel just right. I really like going in with the, the hammer and the axe, because the axe, it really like, lets you chop off the heads, and it really sticks to your opponent. At Fat Shark, we've had a long-term connection with Warhammer, and we've always wanted to make a game like this. So even if it sounds cliche, this really is a dream come true. Up there.